a public speaking masterclass and uh, you're allowed to come up on stage and practice your speaking. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa and I just want to specially welcome you so that you can come and practice your presentation. It's time to practice and you have to practice. You need to practice your presentation and uh, there are two links for you to practice. One is uh, for you to come up on stage and one is for you to practice. Welcome, Mash. I can see Mash in the building. Right. So it's time for us to practice. And uh, this is a platform for you to practice. Just come up and practice. Practice whatever you want to practice in terms of public speaking without judgment. So it's time and uh, you will get the opportunity to practice your presentation. Welcome, Mash. Thank you. Right. It's nice to always see you here. But yesterday, where did you go to? Louis Vulo. So be Louis Vulo, Shepulo. Mash. <laughs> right. Uh. <laughs> right. Welcome. And I hope you are doing well. Yes, yes, yes. We thank God. Yesterday, my TV, my you? TV volume, my TV volume yeah. was in interaction. Yeah. Okay, okay. So today, what do you have for us in terms of uh, news? In terms of what you have, something new for us? Yesterday, I was <laughs> I was exhausted. Okay. Okay, so that's good. That's good, and uh, I'm happy that today you are here because today is a holiday. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's nice to have you. So it's Thank great you. today. We have Abdul to join us. Uh, welcome, Abdul. Hi, Ibrahim. Hi, uh, Mash. Thank you. Good evening. Great evening. Good evening. So my name once again is Ibrahim Mustafa. I'm a public speaking coach. I help people to mature their voice and to learn to speak with power and precision. So if you are here, you want to learn to speak with power and precision, the time is now, the time is here for you to just come up and practice for free. We are live on Twitter, uh, not Twitter, sorry. We are live on Facebook. We are live, live on LinkedIn. We are live on YouTube. And also this presentation will go on to IM Radio later after the whole show. So welcome again. And uh, today, some few tips for you to practice. If you are home and you are listening to this, there are things that you need to do as a speaker to be able to practice. Not only practice, but to keep speaking. Number one is you need to believe in you. Yes, because you are the number one person that you need to believe in. Number two is that learn to tell stories. Stories get your audience engaged. Stories give you the confidence to be able to what, get into your audience's minds and know what they are thinking and tell them uh, that product that you have. So your stories are products. As a speaker, stories are your products. Your words are your products. So learn to pronounce your words well and come up with good stories. Number uh, three is your body language makes a difference. The way you walk on stage, the way you smile, the way you turn around can all make a difference in public speaking. If I say one, I want to say one, and I say one, I'm showing a different body language. This is two, it's not one. So your body language can make a big difference. According to researchers, 5% of our nonverbal communication is based on our body language. So if you go to meet diplomats, if you go to meet like high ranking officials, they understand the power of body language. And the way you portray your body, that's how they are going to read you. So body language is important in public speaking, and you need to know how to carry your body language on stage. Don't walk fast. Some people are running on stage. No, take your time. And don't walk while speaking. Make a difference. Make sure that you are static. Make your point. You can move around on stage. That's allowed. But then make sure you always make a point once you are static. If not, if you are walking, you may get distracted and the audience may not get to hear what you want them to hear. So it's, it's, it's been great 
having great people come up on sh uh, this platform to practice and to do more. And we are going to keep uh, educating people about what to do when it comes to public speaking. So later we'll be doing pitching, and also because pitching is important to me and uh, to some of the people who will want to start their businesses. So maybe you are home, you are listening, you are monitoring, learn from this. Don't be afraid to come up on stage. Don't be shy. Some people tell me that they want to come up on stage, but looking at the number of people I have on social media, they are scared. I said, no, don't be, don't be afraid. Just come up, practice, and then once you are ready, you go and meet the real presentation. So it's been great. March. Yes. Yes. So what happened today? Because today you didn't go to work. What happened? Yes, yes, yes. Founders Day. So you were just at home, relaxed, and you didn't go to yes. farm. <laughs> yes, I didn't go to farm. Right. That's great. So Abdul, welcome again. Thanks, Ibrahim. Right. It's a pleasure so, to be around. Great, great. So maybe you can re emphasize uh, whatever you are into, then we take it from there again. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, my name is Abdul. Um, as we all know, I am a student of uh, public speaking. I'm not an expert like you. I am a student of public speaking. Uh, I love to talk. I love to speak. I love to speak to bigger crowds. Um, I also, I'm also into business. Um, healthcare tech is my specialty, actually. So I work with Zipline as a, a community integrations officer. I'm also a healthcare professional. I'm a public health practitioner as well. Yeah, I do a bit of farming, uh, not so much, just to be able to uh, make me understand the integrity of, uh, you know, farming, to be able to keep body and soul together. Yeah, so basically that's what I do. Yeah, I'm also, um, you know, a solutions architect. So, I mean, with this one, put me on any project. Let me know what you want to achieve. I should be able to provide a solution or two that can create a difference. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Well, great, great, great. Uh, that's nice. So you see the power of introductions. Today you are, you've revealed a lot about what you do in the previous days. And uh, I think we'll be using your services. So you're welcome, Richmond. Uh, welcome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Ivan. Great, great. So Suyini, tell us what you do again. Okay, my name is Suhini and I'm a digital marketer. I'm into content creation. I can do a blog for you, website. I can also, I can also run Facebook ads for you, just social media ads for you. Thank you. Great, great. Welcome once again. Uh, let's welcome Richmond. I'm Richmond Hassan, financial independent advocate. I'm also an importer. I import stuffs from China. You can contact me and we'll do have a nice business. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's been great having all of you online. And it's been great like, uh, to have great personalities like you growing together and knowing that it's always possible that you want to change Africa one day at a time. So, uh, Suyini, maybe at this time your internet may be good, then you can go over your presentation if that's okay. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so today you have to be snappy because uh, the internet may disappoint us again. Marsh, you are two today. All right, I hear. So I'm just going to sh uh, find your slides. Slides, okay. Job search strategies. 
So let's go. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. There are many reasons why people learn a skill or people go for a degree. Paramount of it all is to scale a job and make a living. Well, as we all know, Keep on. And first, if we know as to how we can acquire jobs, it wouldn't be that difficult for us. So today, we are going to look at a quick glance on professional CV format, how to find jobs online and in our locality, and we'll also share some career resources. All right, this is uh, the format of a professional CV. You start with the basic informa information. That's your, your name, your contact details, your address, and also the position you are looking for. You need to include that. Then we we'll also look at the opening summary. You need to define your career. The opening summary, you talk about what you can do, the experience, you put it in definition. Then we come to a work experience. What is your current job status? Are you working? If you are working, what position are you? What roles have you played? You need to put these things in order. The second, the third thing is, um, sorry, the fourth is the education and achievements. What have you achieved? What is your educational level? Always make sure to put the current one at the top and then the others in the bottom. Then we'll talk about the skills and strengths. What skills do you have? What soft skills do you have? What hard skills do you have? What are your strengths? What value can you provide for the company? I am less All I am let's move to the next modern job search strategies. Mr. I am let's move to the next slide. Okay. Please let's move to the next slide. Which slide are slide are you seeing? I'm seeing the professional CV format. No, now we've moved to, uh, uh, I've even moved to job, modern job search strategies. Wow, but I'm still seeing that. Okay, please go back. Yes. Okay, now let's look at the modern job search strategies. One, you need to build a strong online presence. Thus, you need to customize your social media handles. If you are on Instagram, LinkedIn, or Facebook, then you need to customize it in such a way that people can find you when they are searching for uh, people that are in a position that's related to what you want to work in. So you need to customize your social media handles such that people and potential employers can easily find you. The second thing is you need to network all the time. Network with people that can help you find a job online and on in your locality. The third, is, the third thing is to learn a new skill. Well, you may chance across, you may come across a, an opportunity that requires a certain skill. For instance, now this there is a high demand for project managers or IT support personnel. So you can learn a skill in that regard and it will help you. So let's move to the front. So can, you can also join, you can also volunteer to join a professional organization, even if they are not paying you. But trust me, 
there will be a particular day that they'll, they'll announce a vacancy and your qualification may tally that and they will easily pick you because you have already uh, volunteered to be with them. You can also attend job fairs. It will help you find potential employers and you can easily be, get recruited. The second one is, is to leverage your current relationship. The people you know can help you find a job. They can refer you to something and to help you. Now let's move to the career resources. Right now, Okay, so I'm on the career resources. Okay, so now, if you want to learn, there now there is a high demand for certain skills in the job market. I made mention of project management, data analysis, or any skill. If you, if you go to Coursera, you can learn something about IT. You can go to Udemy and learn something about public speaking, it could be pro anything professional, leadership. You need to go visit those sites to help you learn. You can also use LinkedIn to find jobs. It is a professional social media network that you can reach out to potential employers. Now Google Docs. With Google Docs, you can use, you can get professional templates to help you um, put your CV in order. So now there are more of these resources, but this, these are just a few. So try and leverage on it to help you improve in your career. Let's connect. I am on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and on WhatsApp. I am also Great. the social media strategies. I can help you in, with anything regards to the digital net uh, world. Right. Thank right. you so much for your time. And I really appreciate it. I hope I've been able to provide you a value that you need. I believe in you. Thank you. <laughs> right. That's Suhini. And uh, Suhini for you. And that's his presentation. So if you have questions, you can ask him. Then he gets to answer them. And uh, we move on. Is a practice session. Any question? Mash. Okay, Richmond. Yeah, please. I would like to ask how important is social media in uh, in one's job search and to how easily is it to use LinkedIn as a tool to get a job? I didn't get the last question. You did mention that we can get a job through LinkedIn. And I'm asking yes. how easily it is to use that platform. It is, it is easy. Yeah. It is easy. You one, you need to be active on that platform. And the second thing, you need to customize your LinkedIn platform such that when um, recruiters are searching for people in the field that you want to work in, they can easily find you. For instance, I am a digital marketer. So when you visit my, my LinkedIn account, you should be able to see something about digital marketing. I should be able to use keywords that matches uh, digital marketing. And with that, it will be easy to find. The second, the last thing is, you don't need to be lactant. You should be active on it. Network with people that are in that field and also comment on people that are in that field. You need to comment on posts about it. And with that, you can easily find a job. Yes, okay. I nearly forget of it. 
I nearly forget of your last question. Um, social media is important nowadays because um, you realize that almost everybody is on social media. So if you are not on social media, then um, it will not be easy for you because almost everything is now on the digital world. Thank you. Great, great. You provided value, Hello. thank you very much. Okay. You are welcome. Yeah, um, I think that Suyini has done um, very well. I'm very, very impressed with Suyini's presentation. Very concise, uh, very brief, but very sweet. I mean, he was able to carry all of us along throughout, uh, from the very beginning to the end of it. One thing that stands out that stands out very clearly is um, he employing the power of graphics. Okay, if you look at his slides, they were very simple with graphics, and he was speaking to the points. So, um, one thing that some other people do, which is a mistake, is loading their slides with a lot of wording and you know making their audience very bored about what they see, but. Uh, so in his slide was very, very uh, sharp. I mean, there were just points and he was talking to the points. And I think that is very, very uh, commendable. I mean, also employing the graphics to make things uh, much easier. So I think, uh, I mean, it's it done very, very well. And I'm sure uh, a lot of us actually follow through. Um, the other contribution I would like to make um, is about the question that was asked around how easy is it to use social media or uh, specifically LinkedIn? So if you look at the way social media works these days, I mean, there are some algorithms. So for instance, things that are posted on Facebook, um, if you have an account on Facebook, you should be able to use your Facebook account to get a LinkedIn uh, account. So, I mean, whatever your interest is, um, once you search, it is very easy for those keywords to pop up. You know, that will create some traffic on uh, whoever has uploaded or updated, you know, his profile on, on, on LinkedIn. The other thing is that um, these days, recruiters don't do manual uh, searches. So don't think that a recruiter would have time to be able to go through thousands of CVs um, that he will, I mean, a recruiter will receive at a point in time. So there are some softwares that recruiters employ to be able to do the screening for them. So that is why you need to, you know, uh, develop a CV that is very sharp um, with all those keywords or all those details that describes you. So for instance, if I am developing, um, you know, a CV, I would develop CV specific to the job that I'm looking for. So for instance, if I'm looking for a job for uh, a clinical nurse, the CV I'm, I'll develop is going to be different from if I'm looking for a job as say a tech you know, professional, all right? But the mistake that most job seekers do is that the person has one CV mm, and using that to seek jobs everywhere. It doesn't work all the time. I mean, it, it doesn't even work. Right, so you need to have specific CVs for specific jobs. The other thing I would say finally is when a job is advertised, right, you need to look at what they are looking for and then look at your CV and see how the requirements of the job matches with your CV. So for instance, if there are certain soft skills that they are looking for, maybe you need to have um, some you know, knowledge around artificial intelligence. If you don't have that on your CV, fortunately we have uh, short, short courses on places like Coursera where you could go and then learn, you know, almost you don't pay anything to learn these things like, um, you know, you, things you, around you IQ, pay. things around emotional intelligence and all those things, things around Google pay. Docs and all those things. So um, those are some of the things uh, I would like to say for now. I'm sure other contributors would have other things to say. Yeah. Right. So, Suyin, you were saying something? 
yes um i i was just trying to say that um because it is about job set strategies that's why i summarize um the cv aspect actually um the nowadays recruiters use something we call ats applicant tracking system that's what they use to recruit and one thing uh, the uh, the tracking system doesn't recognize is when you have graphics on your CV, the ATS find it difficult to recognize it. So you need to use uh, what we call, let's say black and white, but you, you should not leave spaces on your CV. You should use um, consistent font and also you should avoid certain things that is not in the job description. Description. So to customize your CV, you need to look at the job's description before you can do so. And aside that, Coursera, there are paid courses. However, you can apply for a scholarship. There is a financial assistance that you can apply for. There are just some few free courses that you can take freely, but most of the courses, um, they are paid. However, you can apply for a scholarship and if you are approved, you can access it free. Lastly, um, we also have what we call the cover letter. With the cover letter, some people will just mention the school they attend. They will end up even repeating what they've written in their CV and it is not written that way. I could have talked detailed about that, but because I, <laughs> what I've just said, it's about your search strategies. That's why I just summarized the CV aspect and left. Thank you. Ibrahim, you are mute if you are speaking. Sorry. So I think uh, the discussion we are having now out of Suyuni's presentation, a lot of people would like to, should actually listen to this because we commit a lot of blunders uh, when it comes to presenting our CVs. And uh, we had another good friend who is also part of this panel. He always comes here, Abdul Gafar. And he has been doing also CV writing, like for people, ministers, he has been doing that for quite a long time. So I think one of these days, we'll just give you, the three of you, Suhin Abdul, Abdul Gafar, the platform, maybe we say career bootcamp or CV bootcamp, so that you will be able to go into a lot of distance. Because most of the times we feel like you're just presenting your CV. No, there are a lot of technicalities that comes into it now that you, you just apply and sometimes you don't even get shortlisted shortlisted and you would think that if you are home and listening to this you may think that eh, you go into the blame game oh uh, they already have their people it's politicians they already have their people that's why they didn't call us no it's not all the time some of the times to most of the times like uh, Abdul and Suina are saying, they just run your CV through softwares. And based on the keywords that you have, like the tracking systems, they will eliminate a lot of people. Then they will be like selecting, selecting, selecting. I can quite remember there was a job application by uh, one international organization. They wanted like two people, uh, administrative staff and we were asked to do like to run through the applications. Believe you me, two people within uh, three hours of releasing the application details on Jobless Ghana, uh, all the job man and all the platforms and social media, we had like 50,000 applicants in three hours. 50,000 applicants from Ghana, from different parts of the world. So what will you do? We just have to use softwares to run them down, shortlist like up to 
within two days, we had like 150,000. So we had to run them, get the re relevant keywords that would take the ages, take the experience, some of the words that they want. At the end, we had like 1,000 participants. And from the 1,000, now we started going through manual to see. So I think young people need this education. And I'm happy you are all uh, adding your voices and experiences to this. So Enoch, welcome. Enoch, it's like Enoch phone always has a problem. I think the network uh, is preventing him from speaking. So maybe we can, if there are any additions to this and the discussion, like, and that's the purpose of this, just to have like discussions to keep people talking and uh, to let people appreciate that you can speak in public. So that in the near future, for example, if we say, Maybe Harvard or any university contacts Suhin and says, okay, Suhin, you are into this, or Abdul, you are into this, or Richmond, you are into this. We want you to have a Zoom meeting with our students. You can, be, you can prepare a presentation and know the type of platforms to use and know how to even go about with your presentation. And that's why this particular PowerPoint presentation, I incorporated it into this to help you to shape your power, sharpen your skills in terms of PowerPoint and shape the way you even speak and know that there are different technicalities that you will be able to use. But of, uh, one recommendation is, you see that I was the one controlling his PowerPoint slides and there were like difficulties and network challenges too. So one thing I've realized is Right, thank you very much. So uh, one thing I've realized is that whether you are presenting on or off-site, always decide to take charge of your presentation. So sorry, just wanted to pick something. Always decide to like take charge of your presentation. If you don't take charge of your PowerPoint and someone is supposed to control it, you may you like you miss a lot of things. There are times that I go to do presentations and uh, ask someone to do a slice for me. And the person was just like, it's like the person was hungry or I don't, I didn't understand. Small time he'll press. I'm not done, but he'll press and go forward. We just keep pressing, keep pressing until I don't know what happened. So you need to take charge of your PowerPoint. And uh, one basic thing that we can use is the, uh, like, control, remote control. You can use that to be able to what? Uh, PowerPoint controller. So you can just get one. And if you are buying from China, it's, it's, it will not cost you, like, it's like sister cities. You can get one. So where, whereby, if you are doing your presentation, you can just slot it in. And wherever you are, you can control your presentation. If it is online, also learn to control your presentation. That will help you a lot. But because of network challenges, that was why I decided to, because he was using his phone, that was why I decided to control it for you. So, but then, case in point, never allow someone to take charge of your presentation. In cases where you don't even have the slide listing, make sure that you are like in front of your laptop, you are controlling your presentation. Why? Because the thing is, for example, if you have images and you want to put your audience in suspense, you need to control it and get to that image so that it's going to be like a surprise. But if someone is controlling it, the person will just press. If the person is angry, the person will just press something. And it will go to the other person. You say, no, 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 it's not there. Go back. And then when you get to that point, your audience might have already known what you, what you are going to talk about. So take charge of your presentation, take charge of your slides. If you want to do more presentations in the near future, just try to get a PowerPoint remote control, whereby you can just can you start using it to do your presentation. It's not that expensive. If you are buying it from Ghana, you may get like for 150 cities or uh, 200 cities. 
Madam, use your uh, imagination, use your power to be able to get your slice through. And that is that emotional thing that you need to appreciate. Always control your slides. Welcome, Rich Publishers. Welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Right, I appreciate. I appreciate. And uh, maybe you can introduce yourself. Suyin wants to say something. Uh, not a lot. I just came online. I was late. You could see. Yeah. Right. And I see your work. Um, I saw you online through KDP and affiliate marketing. And I right. think that uh, without you, I don't know where I'll be when it comes to affiliate marketing with respect to Creative Fabrica and Creative Market. Uh -huh. And as for that one, they have to thank you. Uh -huh. But for public speaking, I'm just um, watching you uh, a few videos. Uh, I'm not really interested in public speaking a lot, but now that I'm watching a few, I think that I'm gaining uh, the interest. Uh, I've not spoken anywhere. I've, done, I've not done any major presentation except maybe uh, church. That is many, maybe more than four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but maybe I'm willing to, I think that I'm willing to learn. Yeah, I think that's all Great. I have to say. Great. So uh, welcome to this platform. And every day we do this, it's just to spike their interest. And you are into content creation, affiliate marketing. Believe you me, there are times that what you do, if you are going to take an, uh, receive an award, you will speak. If you start getting the awards, <laughs> Or mm. you, people want whatever you are creating the content. They will invite you to universities to do presentations, and uh, so okay. it's something that you need to like develop interest first, and it can also help you because you are going to YouTube too. You are you do YouTube. Yes, yes, yes. So you see that. So in the near future, it's going to help you. So welcome, and this is a family. And as a family, I'm creating that we can do That's more in terms of like speaking and uh, reaching out to whatever you want to do. So, uh, Balance TV, I can see you on the, the platform, but it's like your, your connectivity is, at, uh, your device is not connecting. So, maybe you can take yourself out and come back again so that I can add you. So, uh, Suyin, you want to say something? You wanted to add something? Hello, okay. me? Okay. Yes. No, um, no, no. Suyin. I was, right. I was asking if my colleagues have further criticisms, uh, recommendations as to how I should go about my presentation next time. Okay. Okay. So Richmond, uh, Abdul. Yeah, um, yeah, so I think that he did very well. Um, I haven't seen his presentation before, but I mean, what he has uh, demonstrated here uh, is an indication that he knows what he's about. Um, he had total control of whatever he was uh, presenting and he carried uh, us along. I mean, especially me. Um, like I indicated, I'm so impressed because the, the slides were not loaded. I mean, it was really points that he was speaking to and that is just what powerpoint is all about yeah so yeah i think all in all um so you need it very well yeah keep that up thank you very much with john i'm grateful uh Ab so uh, richmond yeah i think he was on point and this to confirm to you, I am that we are really learning what you are teaching us. 
you did indicate the other time that you should use a lot of graphics, and I believe he did just that. Precise right. and concise to the point, and I think it's a good presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, uh, Enoch is putting in information here on the private chat, so you can use the private chat to connect to each other. Maybe you want to take each other's contacts. You want to like there's a private chat and oh yes, we can only see that. And also there's a comment section based on where you are listening to this particular uh, platform or this video. If you are on Facebook, you may see this. If you are on LinkedIn, you may see also see this. If you're on YouTube, it's also possible that you'll be seeing this. So I'm happy to always have you all here and uh, to learn, to practice. And I'm also learning from some of you because knowledge is something that we need to also to learn. I'm a student of uh, learning and I'm always happy to learn. I mean, you're here, welcome. Thank you, my brother. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Right, so I mean, yeah, yeah, it's in the building and uh, maybe you can say whatever you do, introduce yourself so that all the family members will get to know you. All right. Good evening, family. How are you all? I hope you're doing well and uh, mm -hmm. I hope your day went well. And tomorrow is going to be the end of the week. Uh, I just hope uh, you have achieved all that you have set for, for the week. Uh, my name is Amin Yahya. I'm the CEO and founder of Somakos Enterprise and Development. And basically what I'm focused in is organizational development. I help SMEs to grow, support them in setting up their systems, and letting them achieve greater returns on their investments. So basically this is what I do. I'm a mentor as well. I'm a writer. Um, I blog as well. I'm a, an author uh, for the book called The Power of Waiting and Doing. It's on Amazon. You can grab a copy for yourself. So basically, this is what I do. And Abraham Mustafa is my brother. As to all of you, you're all my brother because I belong to the family as well. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much, the man. Uh, the summer question man. Fatih Osman, uh, she has always been consistent, also monitoring. Thank you, Fatih. And I believe that one day you will step up. And she's always determined to come up. But that her baby is always crying. So the baby is doing public speaking at home. And I believe that one day you will surely come up and practice your public speaking. So we are a family. And this platform is here to let you know that you can practice. And don't be afraid to practice. If you are doing this online, you can equally do this online on your own platform. Don't be afraid. People will judge you. Yes, people will judge you. And sometimes the secret is that what you don't know is you may think that you don't have audience. Oh, it's just one person watching. No one is watching. Uh, like So you are discouraged. When you go live, then you stop. When you go live, you stop. When you go live, you get back. You don't do whatever you are supposed to do. No. Please, just be consistent. Be consistent and know that this is what you are going to do and you are going to create more opportunities for other people just because you are sharing your information. We just had some information from uh, Suyuni and Abdul, they all added up to Stevie Wrighton. And people are sending me messages that they've enjoyed the presentation. They've learned a lot. And this is what we want. So it's not just a presentation practice, but if you have a skill, if you have a knowledge, some knowledge that you think people will get, come up and share. Share, create content. Don't be afraid. Take center stage. And I'm telling you, you are going to make it possible. So today uh, is back, is bigger. And I wanted to also like, we are going to do something that I always like as do which is speaking in our mother languages. So Yande, if you are here, uh, it's time for us to do that. Richmond, the last time did you speak in your local language? No, please. Okay, so today 
we are going to do that. So, Suyini, you know that yeah. you will start. If you have, okay. and uh, it's just if you have anything that comes up, please just do your presentation on that. It could be your skills, it could be something that you want to share. I'm telling you that I did a mini video about that, and a lot of it was additive because someone was talking about streetism, someone was talking about like uh, accidents in different languages, and there are people who relate. So let's go that way. Because you do, you are, you are, I'm training you to become all-round speakers. People who, when you speak, they will start to fear you. Let's go. All right. Um, Anawula, Mabehi, Antwi, that's why. Okay. Dunia Galsia, Pam, Dama. Look to Ban Sasha, Sonobi, was Oye Alupolo. So, Zonotian Pala. Send the lads of Mazan Pa, the Biasen and Nandamba. I cannot say. Now, when an empty Opila on Barsham to sell come. Kali to Dan Shaba Nabe Nama Polo. Sa Selmin Selepo and Tobol in the physically challenged. So, the landed mama will unto the Jabba Biago pony. There are some born to net the Biaba. Will Antoine the Tabro song the bar, Cabo Bias of Yelven Yalanga, Cabo Cuyuel Tam, B, Cabiago Conong Tom Pam, and Tabiago. I cannot tell you. The Malazumba, Camel Barti, Camel now no could dance of a Biago Pon of Ven Yalanga. By and the la Namoma Yanga. But Pamela and those who are carrying the Farana Malashaba. So, I cannot let the bands at Navais or Wulanton at the Biba. Down, the tune to song the Baditan cutting a cup of bar songs. Missali commandi, I near zone, being in term, Korean by a pile be co barbain shama. The tuna to song or co pagum barbain shama. I near now in the Hansu. Ko chanda nang lutong, the tuna tap sungo, ko tu pago umbar ba insha ama. Ma ba, the tuma shah poni, di kana tu bar tu song sam, the tuna tu tap song ba, the tuna tu mar ba, the tuna tu dir fila gar gar ba, bang daba yel mo sra, katu bar fa. Thank you. All right. So thank you very much, Suyini. And uh, if you like, if you can speak that badly, if you can hear whatever he was saying, that was emotional. And I understand why he's out now. So let's go. And may God help all of us. So go. Reach him on. Richie, the mon. Why are members dropping? Richmond. Okay, you are muted. Okay. Right, let's go. Any language? Yo, and then I'm bringing with that. We'll be an answer. But I couldn't have some crown with your mom. Them platforming, I'm a Macquina baby, my Macassa. I don't probably speaking the idea I won't hear you. In case a female can let me bring a messer or day in Bray, Macquina home. I hear public speaking. I am obedient in what is so ma, I be a public speaker. I able to make a baby or an Acassa. A bride in solution. And I am very much on staff will be allowed or a team, so I'm a kind of a embry name in Bridia Alan or train public speaking are on this Pibia Alan. So the kind of Pibia Alan. Thank you, Richmond. Thank you, Richmond.
Jonathan, thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. So, Yini, maybe you can conclude. Yes. Zamika <laughs> The Walgar Kachuru, Amidi, Palo Karanella now, and Laram when she goes on fire. Wow, thank you very much for this emotional presentation. I think you can, like, we can all change the world. Right, I'm just loving this. Abdul! <laughs> wow, um, ta, uh, Mabiyumuyakushimuma, <laughs> Eh, <laughs> Then there was some say little valley, come me like Mama Yetua. Those who are to lay. If you are Pamka and Yaka before lay, then there's something in Oya and Yusina and Tabu Yang and John, the old dung. Then Yala Old Dung Mam Melamelo, Wester, Carinella, Tima, Babu Yerong Yerong, and Toho Yao. Timavalma <laughs> Zoya Pam Kadla Dinyala Kama O Barla Moto. Be O Dula Lori Be Ko Duri Yolo Yolo. Now you will co be la team of Valumani. The Totare Sarati na I cannot tell the hate that I shipped no one. And Nirbu Pam ye Barna, be when ye sarati, Karakunyala ban the Bibulur man, be ban the Durbulur man ye Montana, and Kanyala team of Valu Yolo Yolo Ma, the Barna. Ninyashalambu yetu ashale bi nan karnyala zo'un yaga be a punun voga anyan nan shamyala ni chama shiftin be ni nyam ni vuso mun mi dadan alafi soya ko ni to boti shal din yan ta be mun yan su yan safti shal in to ta ka a val din yan su amma ai chante val tim karnyala ni mamman ni ko ban lehle sham be Ayi Pierla and Yelney, Timora Tumtuma. In Tun and Kalatim Maka, Bito Tumta, Kata Barna Pum. Then Lampalan Yala to Shukurne. Be the Bukura Shukosh album born in senior high schools. La the Simpson is the Chanam Banonza Pum. In the Pabe Lamba, than Pabisha Ban Bila Shukutuma. The man, the Wuyani Latimama Vibuma, the Pum to Yirla. 
fish of Kutumo Manana. The Manuel Lehre but Tabaka of one lats mountain, and Lati Bier Biermaka was a happy lay, but to Shakutumo Man. The Sadu Wene Tit eh, the Karam Banama. Me a Fapamba baby Jaruba non za Zampa be eating like a beam Zorna and Leva Natchambla. Dia is a high land on the Maza, the Yelabish Adayan song. Then Lambande Kayan Yelinara Governancy and Tapai. You're sleeping now. Okay, I'm sleeping. Continue. Okay. Okay. Yeah, look when yesterday the young bandit. There's something the government knows that. Zampa, Tishana, then Kamen, Tishana, then the then Tamkalan as well. Then the Mazahati, now the Yadin, your son, Tikachi, Latin, a Bible, a year on Yeroma, Mpuya Kapai, now on this room. Wow, wow. I think uh, after today, if we, we can just even decide to stop this practice sessions because, like, if we really made impact, all of you, like, I, I just like the line, and uh, I believe we can change more. So, uh, Balong, the civil man. So, you are muted, you can unmute and. Yes, yes, yes. Great. So it's your time. <laughs> Tell us yeah. uh, it's your time. Local language, anything that you want to share in terms of helping our communities, helping yourself, helping the families. Right. There's the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is impromptu. <laughs> yeah, hello. Uh, good evening, colleagues who are with us here. Good evening, those who are also alpha, but still with us. Yeah, I'm Sibri from uh, I'm currently located in Upper East Region, Boko. Professionally, I'm NS. Uh, entrepreneurship wife of John the Poultry Rearing Association. Yeah, I'm going to speak Sisali, precisely the Tumuli language. I don't know what to discuss, though. <laughs> Go on. Okay, um, my name is Biren, Sisala, Class Head, Ganale, Tumulu. I know what class of hair lekala. Lele, we ne we we don't remember how to Ghana. Ali COVID nineteen harang. One lele ba mirai na ne monkey pox. Basi omanga ya we don't singa virus family. Omanga omapa omapa virus ba lasi ponyane. Um Ghana le. Do corona ba wo na ba wo do apa is the handle ba do wo confirm na kane na wala nusu sabo ali mungi pox dinle. Bara si daga 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 na kani la sunla. O na kani na si he ba he soja ganon. Tila nga soja na awo kuso bolga sinle ba wo confirm na kane wonga mungi pox na. Yenin chen wula se chenale le nga monkey pox osu cheno cheno la onga ya will si ko na yarande ne ane ane lerense la ma yarande ne ngi no ma ne ne be dem ma ne ne na sun ne ngi ona ne ne a joke ko ba e bara ma ake wulim ne ne la osa ne ta roko be chen roko ke monkey pox be ma ona o yarale ma. Ube ube kam unu fole yere fever ume no kam fever but ama new will unu ma wo wena tanka la baning we are man dozen nga but baning wo daga nga nakin yang mirin kang monkey pox but alengi haran le nakun wo nga ne 
Yarabe, Domo Maka, Nuniwe, Nakana Yarani name, over Naganagan in Camp Monkey Portland, but O Daganagan Mo has me tea, a mo a blabber doctor Vanagane, O Jenin Lang, Jenin Chen, Winden, Winden, Mu, Nana Mayarale, Ni Harana Bajon Wu, Dung in Chalang, but you were in Chalang, a Liz uh Badanga Lapsaba, full by Bayonga Lapsaba, no woo confirm who uh danane Utina and Ken Kuri Masigere Monkey Poxane. Obanga ya will see Magala Laboy Jum. Be Osabranga ya will Magala Laboy Jun Bog Onga ya will see Banga Gana nya ku uh oh hi nyabi yoka gana le aken ya willa bet onga ya will see young punya and the canoe dinner council. Ha, so Sandra Nane, or Maka, the nature and so can co nature barbary precautions, and Sijan Jungle Bill and the pan. So one no co dan and can no da 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 viela, no can experience co no can dan in Yarabe, don't appear in your woman has no tea, but woo, binning. I will confirm. Co, but we been at the Yahoo as a canon, not a manga, club as a year monkey pox. Once I break a ling in my harem, Nakana and Nandongo, Nana and Bieco, Maha Kalale, and Nano, no, see Kang Yananella, co on the Nana no castle or Woblan and O, Jenny Chem, Yarabe, Dongo Maga. More Dana, Niran Maga, Dongo Maga, or Dana and Kang Monkey Pox. Be at uh at all my calanam has me tea, but we'll check a wobble and honey in the nan and the aha a lany haran on pala can ya will call a man sit my uh yarab don't make a gen change in the co wind in le or some calanam has me tea. Nam has to be but check and chalang a wo na la but we don't want a cannon. So so nga mungi pox. Be umana wu jung wu konne ko nga wu jung wu nga nen kala niamu wu kenya wu la ne aha so le la wu la si he dunia le al anga ya wu si ko so ko harang covid nineteen le umana nga muki posla don umana ba do bras yigere tv nyu na kane hemorrhagic fever obanga ya wu don umana nena kano jung wu na yara oma yara la ne yara la ma kesi na bra kesi ma na challenge kale en mesan en dagala ani en sia oma bada da 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 na nya na kenu ale bada na bo bon la dira na bo na nya se kenu ma be o hot hal na yi bo o buchi o wu jema na na jem o ba ngawi se ngawo bon so mo jom wi den ma pa pe o bulin den le o le nin je na ne wi do ma se pe eh covid 19 haran hemorrhagic fever and monkey pox ban na ya wala na ma se nga wi es le le si hetin tin din le organ din le ko dunia le ha zo da na na no kala wo port tia no kala wo jongo tia a cha wala has me ti no kala wo beno don ti na a beno den nia de ne be me me benin la pe don la ne be no mo bene mo mum bene la kala ja na ne la kala ja ntel so mo wala de der ne melen la kala wo jo la sia a a he don won a jo le nirin a pe don won a wo bul wi a cha ko don won a ka tia we ya wala de mo da ka da ka da ka ne ba man no ba le ya gun na kala njo wo petina njo bla petina ka nya ngirin o na la ne force am mo has meti ma jima mo je le wo bulin den da han lang on a chat on my Sumi. Finals, thank you for your time. I just spoke about COVID 19, and after COVID 19, I spoke of uh, monkeypox and hemorrhagic fever as the current trend of sicknesses that are occurring in the world. Thank you, everyone, for your time. Right. Thank you to Enoch. Uh, if you can hear, your network is not that good, but if you can, that's fine. So thank you, Balong. Thank you, Enak. Thank you, Abdul. Thank you, Suyini. Thank you uh, to all of us for this. And I always believe that 
there are people that you know, okay. Enoch. All right. So I believe that there are people that are not saved. And all our programs, whether educational, whether personal development, we are always looking at the former sector. People who can speak, people who can rattle English, people who can. But you see that if we speak in our local dialects, we can change a lot of things in our societies. And English is not just a value of like English, like speaking in public. No. Speaking in public is all about communication. Communication. You all did well by talking about the things that you are passionate about, talking about monkeypox, talking about uh, COVID-19. Uh, Abdul talked about uh, the fact that drug abuse and how young people are abusing drugs and it's affecting society. So he talked about discrimination against people, discrimination against people who are disabled and all this stuff. And uh, Richmond talked about the fact that we need to speak in public and use public speaking to do whatever we are supposed to do. These are all like educative uh, moments for people who perhaps may not get the realm of even understanding English language. Some of us... When you speak, we look at it in a way, I may be speaking English and you may not even understand what I'm saying, but the rural communities, there are people that you can still touch with your emotional presentations. You can still touch them with your, your local dialects. And no matter who you are, no matter what it is, once you are touched, you are, you are going to act on something. And that's why I like all your presentations. You touch on everything sensitive matters of uh, society and i believe that we can keep on doing more and keep on doing more just to help us amplify our voices speak and learn to speak in our local dialects so that at any point in time you can fit in and get all what you want from your local people so we'll be doing this also more just to also market our local languages it's very nice we keep on marketing. We keep on marketing, and uh, we need to market our local dialects so that we can also go international. Who told you that Sisara cannot go international? Who told you that Dagbanli cannot go international? Who told you that there are tribes that can go international? Ashanti, we can like all the languages in Ghana can go international, but we are shy. We are shy to speak our local dialects, but then. This is one of the ways that we can cut, get our messages across through that. <coughs> Sorry. So I think uh, we've done one or two things today. So maybe further questions, and uh, then we can extend tomorrow's work. And uh, tomorrow is going to be Good Friday. So we'll come back strong and do more. So final comments, final statements. Let's go, Abdul. Balong, anything that you want to say, just anything you've prepared, anything you just like, if it's a question, if it's something addition or what we can do next, let me know. Um, yeah, so I think um, this is a very educative um, exercise. I think for the past three days, we've been sharing a lot of learnings. Um, for some of us, it's, it's been a learning care for us. We learn every day uh, for the better. Yeah, so I mean, I, I was happy about what you mentioned, I think, yesterday. Um, we going beyond just meeting virtually, right? So I think uh, now that we are family, we need to find other ways to meet in person. I mean, sometimes that's actually build the connection and build the synergy, okay, amongst uh, all of us. It also gives us opportunity to be able to connect um, very well, share ideas and, you know, learn from each other, you know, at a very close uh, range, yeah. So I'm sure um, you leading this is something that you are considering. I think if um, 
you do that, it will go a long way to help all of us. Yeah. Thanks. Great. But on, uh, on that score, I know that uh, I'm planning something, and uh, but I just want us to keep get into the, uh, like a little of the trainings. And we are going to take what we are going to do is that we are going to organize a series of events, maybe on campuses, maybe at organizations, maybe in, uh, especially in rural communities also. We will go organize events, and uh, you are going to be the speakers. And we are also going to organize boot camps here. So we just have like two, one day whereby we organize, it's just like serious presentation. Come and talk about whatever you are talking about. I will market it and we'll move on. So I think we are going to do that pretty soon. So, and uh, that is great. So, Balong. <laughs> Yes. Hello. Yes. Well, I'm speaking. Like you can't see. No, you mentioned my name and I responded. Ah, okay. Yeah, today you are playing Mash. <laughs> it's Mash House. Okay, Mash. Say yes. <laughs> Great. So I think uh, these are things that we can do. So Hini, if you have something to say, Richmond and Balong, it's time to sleep. It's time to do something. But I, after events like this, I want you to work on something. Work on something. Right. I'm working on a new book. And hopefully tomorrow it should be done. And it's, it's going to be on digital marketing. Because I've checked on uh, uh, the system, Amazon, and a lot of people are looking for books like that. So I'm putting in a book. So I'm going to, once I'm done with this, I'm going to wrap it up. So like, get something, things that you do, and things that you can hold on to. So that within one hour, two hours, you put in some content. Two, three, you know that this is a strategy. So work on something. Just work on something this night, and even tomorrow, tomorrow next, work on something, and make it make tiny projects, achieve it, and uh, you move on. So tomorrow, new book. But I'm not even done with the book. I just halfway, and I have to first stop and do this. So when I'm when I'm done, I'm going to go into the realm, publish, like make sure I tweak it, make sure I make sure that there, there are things that. People can read and enjoy. You need to write books that are not in the system. There are some people who just pick like other people's book. It doesn't like how can you make uh, like how can you be proud about that? Write books that are not in the system. So before I write, I go online. Sometimes I buy books to see what is not in the system. And some of the books are like complex books. You go and read like books from different people they are talking about marketing you don't even understand what they are talking about but straight so digital marketing social platforms what and what like strategy paid advertising paid marketing these are things that we need to talk about and that's why i'm writing that book so what are you going to do this night what are you going to do this evening apart from sleeping if you are listening that's the, those are the questions what are you going to do are you just going to sleep wake up the next day sleep wake up expecting that something happens no, this will never work. You need to work on something. You need to work on something productive. Hold on to something in your life and see, this is what I'm going to be accountable for. You may not be able to write a book within like one week or one month. That's okay. Use one year to do it. You may not be able to do an uh, online course. I can use one, one. Most of the courses I do now, I use one day to do the online courses that I publish them. You may not be able to do that, but if you are able to use one year to do it, the lifespan will reduce. Now you can use six months to do it. If you are able to use six months, you can use like one month to do it. If you are able to do, use one month to do it, and you can edit, you can do your own covers, you can use 
one week to do it until you reduce it. So work on something productive. And once you are working on something, I'm always available. Like Richmond always does. He consults me on some of the things he's doing. Richmond, uh, how far off your lead magnet, the book? It's like you didn't get back to me again. It's Richmond here. Richmond. Exactly. I am. Yes. It's you, Maxino. <laughs> yeah, I did the cover again. I, I will send it to you, please. It's today that you are done with the cover. Or now that you want to finish with the cover. I'm done so, long time now. Okay. So you need to start using it. You need to start using it. You need to start using the cover. You need to start using the lead magnet. And it's very important because you need to like get into action. So go to like the Canva. Just go to the ebook covers. You get more cover, like, like different covers. You put that into action. So, but make sure that there's something accountable. And one thing I also do is, and I want you to always do that, like it's not compulsory, but sometimes I have this, and I just tell myself I'm looking for opportunities. This day I'm looking for all the opportunities. So I go online, I search on uh, websites, I just go online, I have a friend who has uh, this website, it's called Opportunity Desk. I like recommending it to people. So I just go, I'm looking for different opportunities. I'm looking for opportunities that people have. Uh, uh, let me share this with you. And it's a strategy that you, know, you, you can all do. Come on, opportunity decks. So I just find a day, I sit, I sit, and I go online, and I'm searching for opportunities. So I search for opportunity decks. And I'm going for a conference, international conferences, free conferences, uh, undergraduate, short courses, master's program, PAD. Believe you me, if you find any opportunity here, they are going to pay you to go there for free and to attend conferences. <laughs> Scale your passion fellowship, 2022, for creatives in Baltimore. This is not for me because I'm not there. Apply for the Creative Business Cup. Nigeria 2022 is for Nigeria. But I, I'm just keeping, and I'm searching, I'm searching. Then if I'm not seeing Master Africa Challenge 2022 for technology startups, up to $50,000, then I check on it. So if you check on it and it's something you can apply, go. You, first thing I do is I go to eligibility criteria. Pre-seed pre <laughs> or seed, whatever. Current generating revenue, Nigeria, South Africa. You see there's Ghana here. There's Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, South Africa. Then I'm good to go. So I know who am I recommending this to. Then I move on. Then I bookmark this and I work on this. I also go to like, just type on Google. Searching like, and it's a day I used to do that. I just use a day and I'm looking for things. Like I go to Google again. I say opportunities, opportunities for Africans. I, I can specify this to opportunities for Ghana. And there's something here. I just click on it and it tells me opportunities that are there. Then I'm looking for like eligibility criteria. What can I do? Then I move on. I pick, I go to LinkedIn. I go to LinkedIn and I'm looking for opportunities. You can see this is my LinkedIn page. And I'm looking for like possible opportunities. So I type on people, the CEOs. I can type in CEOs, uh, like uh, uh, tech, 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 technology CEOs. See you. And I'm just, I just type that. People, and I'll tweak where I'm searching from. So all of it filters, like people, I'm looking for people. Then I'll try to see. There are filters that I change the location. I want people in US. Then I just do United States. Uh, like if I you have other countries, you can add them. They show results. It's going to show me technology CEO, CEO, and founder Hex Technology. You see this person. It's my second uh, LinkedIn connection. You need to know that second LinkedIn connection. 
uh, Stephen E. Williams, Ted Lincoln Connection. I'll just go. Sometimes I don't just do follow. And this one is like, you see, John, Johan Boss, CEO, C, group CEO at Udex. So if I see someone I like and I want to do business with the person, I'll just go to the uh, uh, profile. And once I go to the profile, once he has some information, articles he has posted, I won't comment on it. But once you go to someone's profile, Link will tell the pe person that Brian Mustafa has viewed your profile. And they also view mine back. Some don't view, even though some don't view your profile, that's okay. But once I go and I see that, oh, this is okay, I can hit connect. But then the connect, you are going to send an extra message. You see here, they can say add notes. Now add, oh, my name is Ibrahim Mustafa. Now, like, I like your profile. I like whatever you are. I want to connect with you. Then I'll send, even though this one I'm not sending it. So, and with that, I can be able to find people that I work with, people that I want to, like, connect with. So if I want ministers, someone is joining? Okay, sorry. So if I want ministers, to work with ministers of different countries, all I just do is minister. I'll just put in minister. Minister of uh, whatever. If it is information, I'll put in minister of information. But I'll just put in first minister. So when I see minister, you can see minister, counselor at embassy of Ghana, Beijing. This is the person representing us. This guy, I know this guy. He has served me before. But even though we are not connected, I'm just remember, uh, seeing the face. But you change the location. If not, you are going to see church ministers. You can see missionary minister at Presbyterian. No. So I want minister that I, ministers that I can do business with. Like ministers, government ministers, political ministers. So I do uh, my search filter. I do people. I'm looking for people. I'm looking for people in the UAE. Okay, so let me go back. Let me go back. So I do all filters. Then I'll just like add. I'm trying to see why is this thing going back. So, but then I keep on tweaking. Member of Parliament. Member of Parliament. So I'm looking for, so you can see, member of parliament, Tanzania, Sophia, whatever. So this is a member of parliament in Tanzania, Dr. Albert Tetenya Koti, member of parliament in the Republic of Ghana. So member of parliament at, uh, like, so you see a lot of people, Zambian parliament, member of parliament, like, no, I don't want. So I can do France, UK, United Kingdom, I'm just showing results. So, Shadow Minister for Immigration Refugees. Uh, this guy, I know him. I know this guy. So, Canada. He has made a lot of name for himself. Ryan Temple, Member of Parliament for Whitby. I don't know him. John Glenn, Member of Parliament, Salisbury. I've heard of Salisbury, but I don't know him. So if I want to connect, I'll just UN official, former member of parliament and chair, foreign affairs. So these are top people. And I just decide to connect. Yes, it, someone will say, will it work? It's not all the time that it's going to work. But there are times that I get feedback and I connect with ministers of states. Then I sometimes I strike a deal or I do training programs for them or their constituents or like, people that they have. So you need to connect beyond your locality. You need to move ahead. You need to build relationships bigger than you so that you can use them. So assuming you are going to the UAE, uh, Dubai, and you're going to meet a minister of state, how beautiful will that be? Just because of a connection on LinkedIn. There are some CEOs, when I go to their offices, there's a long queue, but they will tell me that when I come, I shouldn't follow the queue. I should just tell them that he's asking or she's asking me to come in. Then that's how you see my type of walking. You know that connection? You just wow. walk like you there. You are from different place. 
And the, the secretary, start, you know, secretary, the, the main duty is to stop you, stop as many people from seeing the CEO of that appointment. But if the CEO says they should meet you, they should see you, he is willing to see you without any appointment, anytime come. How beautiful is that? Just because you are a LinkedIn connection and you follow each other, that's all. That's nothing special because you've been able to make a contact with that person. So you can use LinkedIn, even though th these people on Facebook, they have like million, millions of followers. Some of them, they have millions and millions of followers. But on LinkedIn, they don't have more followers, right? So you can just connect and you see, you need to take care of that second connection, third connection. Second connection simply means that you have people who are connected to them. Third connection simply means that though for them, so second connections. So if you do just, if I connect with this person, you look at people that I'm uh, like, I'm connected with through them because I'm closer to them. Then I just connect. So I'm, you can use a day to look for opportunities. Don't wait. Whatever field that you are in, look for international opportunities. Look for international conferences. Look for like things that will help make you better. And it's good because most of the times, ask yourself questions. When have you ever sat down and said, I'm going to look for opportunities? I'm just going to go online. I'm searching for opportunities. I'm saving email addresses to rewrite. to be No. It may not be no, but look for a day, go to go online. And I do this not only on LinkedIn. Now I don't have time to do all this, but th that was what I used to do. I do that a lot. If I'm going to write, uh, like maybe, and you see, that's why sometimes I blame our local NGOs. They don't make money, they just make small money and they, are, they buy pickups, they buy things, but they don't know how to search. I don't know how to like invest in that. They just write normal proposals. People don't reach out to them. So I use this method to get friends, to get training programs. And as my formula, I'm telling you people how I used to, I get like great influential people to meet, to do uh, training programs. It's LinkedIn or even Facebook. Facebook, there's a strategy. If I want to write a proposal to Emirates, if I want to write a proposal to Emirates, right? If I go to Emirates, their website, no one will mind me. I will not even know the email to send to. But on Facebook, I can get Emirates the right email that I can send a proposal. So let me give you an example. I want to talk to Emirates. I just want to connect with them because Emirates is a big company. This is Emirates. So what I did was, at that time, I used to be hungry. I'm telling you, you can see their email. If you can see this, let me make it bigger. What a messenger will be bigger. Okay, so this is Emirates. This is my first email to Emirates. Hello, I'm the founder of Public Speaking Entrepreneurship Institute. This was somewhere in 2015. That time, I was looking for opportunities. I was hungry. And this is my template. I am the founder of Public Speaking and Entrepreneurship Institute. I want to submit a proposal to partner and organize with some entrepreneurship and leadership programs in some selected tertiary institutions in Africa. I wanted to organize. And I said, I will be happy if you can give me the email addresses of the departments or contact persons I can send the proposal to. Best regards. Simple email, Some, not email, simple this thing. And this is their reply. Hi, Ibrahim. You might find the right channel to share your details through the link below. So there's a specialized link that you can just send your details straight without even an email. It's there, but people don't know. So they've shared that to me. And I said, thank you very much. Next, what will I do? Submit my proposal. So if it's a tech idea, if it's a personal project, look for international organizations, connect with them and do business. And that is, that is the same formula I've used to get all the people who I work with, all the great people I work with. It's the same formula. There's no secret to it. And I'm sharing that to you today because you are on this platform. Use that. 
look for ways to expand. Look for ways to get opportunities. If not, no one will give you opportunities. You need to look for them. You may be talented. You may be great. You may have all. I'm telling you, forget. Forget about that. You may have great business ideas. No one will mind you. But then, also create your way. Go, and I've done this to many organizations. If you go to MRS, Kenya Airways, I, did, uh, I wanted to do a deal with them. I didn't work. No, 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 no. Kenya is Kenya Airways. Don't bring me Kenya. Like this. I do that. Me, I do that a lot. Because, and one thing you can see, Hi, Ibrahim, contact our Kako. Like, they've given me things I can work with, emails, phone numbers. You see, Kenya, they've given me a contact from, like, I can talk to in Ghana, send this email, and, like, I just get my way through. So, don't think that just because you are there, you are a speaker, you are doing great, people of my no, no, please. Develop strategies. And the important thing I want you to know today is just pray. Like, don't get into the realm of, okay, I'm still saying pray. So, no, pray. If you are a Muslim or Christian, pray. Keep praying. But then put actions. So that once you are praying, God can answer your prayers through something. It's easy for God to help you. Some of you, I'm telling you, if you are God, you can't help yourself. Because you are not doing anything to make you money. All you are praying is, God, let's, uh, let's, sorry, ladies, but how our ladies will say, uh, make our, my helper find me. God, let <laughs> my helper find me, right? Your helper find me and help you on what? Are they going to take you as an orphan? No. But if your helper comes and you are doing things, you want to organize big events, you have a dream to start a big hotel in Tamale, you have a dream to start a big IT project, auditorium, somewhere. You have a dream to start a tech company, somewhere. You have a dream to start a transportation company, and you are looking for ways, and you are sending letters. God can easily let your helper come and find you. That's the only way God can help you. So some people, are, I believe, are just praying, and what they do is they are disturbing God, to be frank. Because God wants to help them, but God doesn't know how to help them. So please, let's pray hard. Let's keep praying. And also let's put in the work, put in the strategies. And we will win. So may God help all of us win. And my dream is to help to see every, everyone of you win. So develop strategies. Build them this one day. Just dedicate a day. Write all the proposals you have. Keep sending them to people. Me, that was how I used to do. Imagine sending 1,000 proposals to different organizations. Email, I'll just send. Email, I'll just send. Email, if I just get the email, I just want email, just give me email. I'm sending the proposal. Some will say, oh, we cannot work with you now, but you are looking for to work with you in the near future. Some will say, okay, Ibrahim, if you have a project in Ghana, Tamale, we are going to look for you. Then I'll say, no, I'm not only limited to Ghana, Tamale. I can do projects in Nigeria. I can do projects in Benin. Me, I'll pick my back and go there and do projects and come back. Right? So it's all about will be willing to work, be willing to move outside your comfort zone, and be willing to do more. On my mess, uh, my distance, if I just sh if I should show you my WhatsApp, I wanted to do a deal. <laughs> but that's when I, I, I see that it's a risky deal. I won't do it. I was there. And a friend, Alfred, sorry, uh, this is supposed to be confidential. So it's confidential, but then don't take it out. So let me see whether you can see. Okay, I'm not seeing this. I don't know how. I was then, Alfred, someone contacted me and said, oh, Chinese embassy. That was, that's on my WhatsApp. That China embassy, they wanted a cooler. <laughs> so <laughs> they are looking for cooler suppliers. And I said, ah, this one, me, it's like I can look for people to do it too. Then I started calling people. It's like most of the traders are not serious. So I said, no, I won't do it again. 
because people need to be serious and we need to do business. So, but this is someone who just feel like I can do it. He connected me to that embassy and he sent me a letter. Uh, the number of the person I should contact and do business. Why? Because I'm open. I know how to do this. I've been doing business like for some time. So I want you to all get into this mindset that nothing is impossible. Go into deals that you feel like if you go, you do it and move out of deals just because the deal is nice doesn't mean you should do it. And once you keep on going, there are people who are more criminal than you think of in Africa and the outside. They want to use you. Never accept that. Never allow anyone to use you. And never take advantage of anyone, whether online or offline. If you are someone who is already doing that, stop. Stop it. Because if you are doing that, God cannot help you. I can quite remember I was just... That particular moment, I had nothing on me. Nothing. Like, when, it, when we say money, at the time, I didn't even, like, money sent. I wanted to just hear money sent because I had nothing. And there was a guy who just contacted me out of nowhere. Oh, I see your work. You are doing great. Some time ago. And he says, oh, I have this idea. That he has an idea. That I should partner with him because I have a voice. I have a platform. He will create a website. And the website is going to be investment website. So that people like if you put in 10, 10, 10 CDs or ten dollars, within one week or two weeks, the money will increase. You make like hundred percent profit. So that he can create that website. As we were chatting, he created that website. He created a website like that and said, I should share it to my people. So that I said, don't put my name. I asked him question, don't put my I said, how are we going to do it? Like so that it will show what. And he says, when we reach like three million dollars or two million dollars, we'll split the money and we'll go to somewhere in Dubai or Kenya and buy houses and be there. I said, No, I won't do that. And I asked him, What about the people who are going to take their monies? How will they feel? He didn't care about that. So I said, I'm out. This guy went ahead, did, and he was, he was not from Ghana. Did the website, started sharing it, contacted me some like two months that there's someone who wants to invest in Tamale, Ghana. And that person is not able to send the money. So the person, I should contact the person and take that. I said, no, I don't do that. I will never compromise my brand like that. He made a lot of money, that guy. I don't know where he is because I've stopped following him just by duping people. He did that even before, that, that was even before men's gold. So it's a system that people will use. And if you are not careful, I'm telling you, you are going to get into those realms. And you are going to destroy your, your whole life just doing that. So please, opportunities that will come, make sure you don't take all, any like all opportunities. Save them and don't use your email address to do some deals. Don't even use your email address because once I type in your email address, I can find out all the places you've registered, all the things you are using your email address to do. If you are into if you are using your email address to sign up to pornography sites, I will see all just because you are using your email to do that. So please let's go clean, let's go hard, and let's do it. May God bless us all. Thank you for your time. And let's do this tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.